The colony stimulating factors are hormone-like molecules produced by the body, usually in response to infection or tissue damage, whose job is to signal to white blood cell precursors to increase the production of white blood cells and their functional activity to respond appropriately to infections. The discovery that led to the whole event of colony stimulating factors was the ability to grow bone marrow cells in semi-solid agar cultures as colonies. That was the eureka moment we now have pure GCSF and I remember rushing into Don Metcalf with this gel saying it's here, it's here, it's pure and his response as, as always with Don Metcalf was to take the gel, put it under his microscope and check under the microscope that there were no other bands present in the gel. Well, the significance of the discovery is that the colony stimulating factors is a routine medical treatment. Uh, it's treated well over 20 million patients worldwide. It's now a standard of care in treating patients with cancer who receive chemotherapy or radiotherapy. The second major use of colony stimulating factors was made by Uli Dersen and Don Metcalf during the first clinical trials of CSF in Melbourne, which was to move all of the bone marrow stem cells out of the bone marrow into the blood. And the third use of the CSFs is that there are some uh, rare patients around the world who have various forms of genetic diseases which cause ineffective production of white blood cells. And again, the CSFs have been used to completely change the course of that disease and essentially make life worth living for those patients.